Okay, I am starting another burst tumbler today. I am using the shape tape that Artistry Epoxy sent me to try. The sheets are 10 by 13, so when you're doing a 20 ounce, you're gonna have some extra. Keep them. Trim that off before you cut, because this you can use to make like a custom glitter name to apply to a cup or something. Um, they will come in handy. I will use them at some point to do like the text detail on a cup, just to show you that these are still functional. I mean, I can get four good decals out of the cutoff from two cups or more. So I was gonna do this one differently. I was going to um, glitter it all loose and then apply it completely loose, but um, I really like the way the one I did over the vinyl came out. So I'm going to do that again. That was like the simplest way for me of any of these. Um, this file is from Inspired by May Shop on Etsy. Um, so I did what I do. I drew it and I colored it in. And I paired my glitters down to two yellows, two purples, and two corals for this one. So um, before I get to glittering... I'm going to, and this is going to be, hopefully, hopefully it's going to work. I'm going to peel the backer part of the way. And I'm going with a, um, like a cream buttery color vinyl for this one. Hopefully it'll be okay with the corals and the purple. Um, I really liked having the vinyl for several reasons. It makes it so your base isn't white. Like it makes it easier to see where you're going with your cuts. But I'm just gonna peel the backer and lay this down. You can see I do have a couple little pieces that have already lifted. Um, probably my machine picking them up especially where those little fine cuts were um, I don't blame the tape for that one little bit so and I do have a couple little bubbles like here So, I am going to switch over into fast mode and just go to town with the glitter. You're going to see me peel a section at a time. I'm going to start with the dark purple, which is going to be the flip-flop sole and straps. And then I'm going to do probably the dark yellow, which is going to be the um, center part of the hibiscus and I will work my way down from there.
Okay, so I am done glittering this. Um, I do wish maybe I'd picked a different base color or a different background color. Because I feel like the yellow ended up very, very close to this lighter coral over this background. But, um, and I did mess up a little tiny piece of my flip-flop right there. And right there. But other than that, I am pretty pleased with this. So I'm going to get it spray sealed with um, my Rust-Oleum 2X Clear Gloss. Not tonight. And uh, once I have it sealed, I will come back in and trim it down and we will get it on a cup. Okay, so this is all sealed and dried now. I'm going to um, apply this one differently yet again. Um, if I can get it started. So, I'm going to attempt to do this one using the wet method. Um, some people say they use Windex for their wet method vinyl application. I I'm not personally a fan of the Windex. I don't like the chemical aspect of it. The idea that it could negatively affect the adhesive. Um, but you do you. If you've been doing that and it works for you, great. Carry on. Um, personally, not for me. So I don't have a spray bottle handy, so I had to mix up a little. Um, this is just water and a couple drops of my Dawn dish soap. So I'm going to douse the cup in that. Like, I'm going to use a lot. So. And I'm going to pick up my vinyl, and I'm going to start in the middle this time. And hopefully it'll stay wet enough that I can move it around. I did trim this one further this time. I just wasn't I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing, I guess. So I'm going to wrap one side and wrap the other side. And hopefully I will be able to slide it some. Slide and or peel whatever until I get lined up how I need to be. I may have actually cut this one too narrow or maybe just right but that should allow me to work it a little bit and get a darn near perfect seam this time so um, I don't want to squeegee it because I have the glitter layer on so, I'm going to have to be careful with how I apply pressure to this because I still do need to push any water out and um, make the adhesive work. So, I'm going to get this out of the way. I'll grab another paper towel here. And I'm going to start, and I'm just going to use my brayer. If it is sealed well enough, it is not going to hurt my glitter at all, but it should allow me to get a good seal to the cup, hopefully. I 
And actually, I cut that one nearly perfect. That's a flat, really nicely lined up seam. So, and I am pressing relatively hard, so do be sure you are well sealed so you're not traveling or pushing glitter around. So I'm gonna let this dry and then come back in and push that seal down just a little bit more. I do have a slight gap here. So I'm just gonna do like I did last time with my X-Acto knife and just Trim the tiniest bit so it's even. I'm not going to go through edge trimming or any of that. Um, I am again going to leave stainless at the bottom. Because I like the way that worked on the other one. So, let it sit, let it dry. Um, once it's dry, I'm probably going to run the brayer over it again. But... Uh, I will be back when this is ready to get under epoxy when it's completely dry, but that went on so easily and it is like uh, probably as close to a perfect seam as I ever expect to get. So there you go. One more method of applying it. Okay. I am over here recording without actually recording lovely um but i just put the coat on here with artistry epoxies fast sets i'm just smoothing it out now but this is the bottle that's the b this is the a i did warm the epoxy a little bit more this time so it was much um it's still a thick viscosity but it was a little bit thinner and easier to mix for me so um, and I do believe that Inspired by May Shop has slightly altered this file so it cuts a little cleaner. So yours might not look exactly like this if you go buy the file after this video. But that's perfectly fine. Um, Anything a designer can do to make it slightly easier is a good thing. So, there you go. I am going to actually set an alarm so I do not forget because I am done in my room for now um, to come back and peel my tape off. Because this is warm already, it's going to set even faster. So, I'm probably going to peel my tape at like 15 minutes. I probably won't come back for that because I'm just busy. <laughs> so... I'm just going to show you now. I think this is so beautiful. I really, really like it. So, there you go. This one is done. I appreciate you watching. And thank you for the support. I will see you on the next one.